guys it is Monday I actually skipped yesterday's vlog I didn't really actually mean to but my ba my camera battery was dead and then something terrible happened and it never got charged until today so and actually it's really later on in the day there's not gonna be much to this video um, I'll just have to start back up fresh tomorrow but I did want to fill you in about what happened um, on Sunday, let's see, February 7th, which is my sister Mandy's birthday, so happy birthday to her. She turned 21. Um, and I don't think the other day on February 4th, I didn't mention that it was my brother James's birthday, and he turned 16, so, which he was the youngest, he is the youngest out of me and all my brothers and sisters, so everybody's just growing up so fast but anyway I just wanted to go ahead and put that in there in case they watch so happy birthday to James and Mandy um, but anyway on February 7th we got up I was I went to feed the cat and he wouldn't come and usually he's right there at the porch and I'm like well I guess you know he's off you know hunting or something so we came back in and ate and ate breakfast and we kept hearing something like up under the house and then we thought oh it's the cat up under the house and we thought he was just you know playing or whatever and then I kept calling and calling and calling because he you know it was very unusual of him not to come eat his food he loves his food and um I was just trying to figure out then I started hearing meows and I was like, come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And I just kept calling, calling, calling for him. And something just, just started to f not feel right. I'm like, something is wrong. And so I pinpointed where he was up under the house. And I started digging the dirt out. Um, because I'm like, he sounded like he was stuck. And so I dug the dirt out at that part of the house and I stuck my head up under the house and there he was he was stuck in between two boards at at a beam it's really hard to explain but it was very narrow like about that narrow he it was a really really tight space that he was in and I was like oh no and um I did get one of his back legs out and then he pulled it back up and I'm like I don't I I didn't know what to do um I couldn't fit in the house Cody couldn't fit in the house and so we called some of our friends from the fire department because I thought I'm like you know who rescues cats and the first thing that popped in my mind was fire department and we have friends there because Cody used to be a volunteer fire department there I mean a volunteer firefighter <laughs> um but he that he wants to do that again soon but that's like another story but anyway um they came and I was really worried and they couldn't get him out so we went to town to do our grocery shopping because we didn't get it done on Saturday and then we came back home he was still stuck and we called a Cody called another one of his friends he came over and then he called another one of his friends and he came over and they're both little enough to go all the way up under the house and they said he's stuck his head is wedged in the between the beams and he's just he's stuck they couldn't get him they couldn't get their hands near him all they could do was like touch his side that's about it is where they could touch him at because they were going to try to pull him out, you know, put a, put a rope on him or, you know, anything we could possibly think of to do. Um, they knocked one board out of the way that wasn't important, which I think they put it back. But um, we couldn't cut the beam because it supports the house. And the only way we could get him out would to be to cut through this floor from the kitchen. And... This is not our house. This is my mother-in-law's house. That was not an option. So it was, they started talking about putting him down instead of letting him suffer. And it was just a horrible, horrible day. I, I just kept crying on and off. It was just, 
I be I have a very sensitive heart and mind. I become attached to things really easily, especially cats, because cats are just my thing. <laughs> I've always been a very big cat person. Um, <laughs> like, no joke, if, you know, if I end up alone in my elderly years, I'm probably being a I'm probably going to be one of those cat ladies that has a lot of cats. I mean, that's just how I am. I love them. I instantly attach to them. And I just, I grow very, very strong feelings towards them. They're like family. Even though we've only had him for a few days, it was just, it was horrible to think that he was going to starve to death down there. Or we had to, you know, put him down. And it was just... I just, I kept, I kept telling Cody, I'm like, I keep having to lose things. I lose things in life. And I just didn't understand why this was happening. And Christian has never faced death. He's never lost anything like that. And what, what, what was I going to tell him, you know? He knew he was stuck under there, but he thought, you know, that we could get him out. He never became extremely worried. But, um, I just, it was just a horrible day. Last night, I, it took me a long time to go to sleep because I was just laying there. I could hear him crying up under the house and it was just, I woke up really early this morning after, well, when Cody goes to work, cause he had to go to work today since it's Monday. And I just, I cried. <laughs> I mean, I just, I. I was just laying there crying and just begging God to please help us because there was nothing else we could do. It, it was all in God's hands and he was going to, you know, have to step in because we couldn't do it. And I was just begging God, please, 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 please don't let him die, you know, please get him out. And then I went to sleep, I went back to sleep and then I had dreams that he got out twice. I woke up and I, you know, I'm like, those were just, you know, dreams. <laughs> I wish it was actually reality, but me and Christian got up and I went outside. I'm like, you know, I got to go check on him, see if he's still alive, you know. And then I walked around the corner. I was headed to the hole where, you know, we dug out and I was going to stick my head back up under the house and he walked up behind me. <laughs> And he was purring and circling at my feet because he, what he does when I'm, when he's hungry. And I just picked him up and I was just like, and I just started, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was God. It, he just, it was God. <laughs> he performed a miracle and got him out. And he, the cat is alive and well, and we've been playing with him all day. Me and Christian haven't given him so much attention. He's just a happy cat, and that was just a very odd incident that happened, and it was just, I just keep thanking God for letting us have him still and not having him to watch him die in a horrible way, and it's just, <laughs> oh, it's been a very emotional time. From yesterday and even today this morning I was up so early just crying and you know I had lost hope except I was praying I still kept praying because I knew God God can do anything he wants to do and and he did he saved this cat for us I know to some it's silly I know people and I've, I've been made fun of over the years for my love for cats, but that's all right. You know, if people don't understand that, then, then they don't understand, but, um, it's important to me and yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but I'm just so glad that it turned out to be a good event instead of bad. And yeah. Now Cody is on his way home. He'll be here in a few minutes. He went and stopped by the store um, to get, he's going to try to find a kite because it was extremely windy today and I think it's supposed to be windy tomorrow. So it'd be a perfect time to fly a kite. So 
We did have one, but we tried to fly it, but there was never enough wind, and it got messed up, so he's going to try to find another kite. I've got Christian in the bathtub right now. I don't know. You might probably have heard him. <laughs> he's been busy playing, and I've got some chicken deep thawing and some water. I'm going to start making supper soon and all that, so hey. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you what happened, why it, it didn't get vlogged, because I was going to put my battery on charge yesterday, and then all that happened, and it never did, and it was just an emotional day anyway. I probably couldn't even vlog, even if my battery had been charged. It's just too much. <laughs> I think I'm going to sleep good tonight, because um, my heart was just so heavy, and it... It, I right now I just feel really tired <laughs> but a good tired like a, a, a relief you know but anyway enough rambling on <laughs> this is probably oh my goodness 11 minute clip anyway I'm just gonna do a one take today so y'all don't have to um, hear anymore but I hope you guys had a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. I will do a full day's vlog tomorrow, good Lord willing, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.